Hello, hello. Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome everybody to the stream. Whether you're here with me on uh, this Monday nights, New World nights, uh, that is going to be the plan as we dive into it. If you enjoy these live streams or the archives, uh, hitting the like button is a great way of saying thanks. Also, another way, uh, if you guys take clips of anything that happens on stream, always hit, send them over my way on Discord. But tonight we're hanging out, playing a little bit of New World. Hopefully, if you guys are interested, you can feel free to join in. Uh, I don't really have any goals outside of just doing some questing. Some, you know, who knows, could end up just devolving into a another fishing stream. At the end of the day, uh, I've been really enjoying this game. I'm happy to see that it is doing uh, as well as it is. And yeah, I'm going to keep uh, keep rocking and rolling uh, with some new world. So if you guys are hanging out with me, uh, feel free to ask any questions. Or you can always ask me in the comments once this video has been archived in VOD form. So without any further ado, yeah, welcome, guys. My name is Brian. Let's have some fun. I'm going to bring in chat. What's up, Fia? How you doing? Oh, pretty good. How are you? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. We, uh... You got any content plans for tonight? Um, I'm not sure. I thought there would be more people on. I, uh, you know, it's like this weekend. I, I'm still feeling a little tired, but I was like, oh man, I gotta, I gotta get some game time on because after Friday, I didn't, I didn't play any games all weekend. You know, oh, if yeah. you want to join in for good fun times, I guess. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't sound too, uh, too bad. What's up, JZH? Thanks for being here and thanks for your support, dude. Uh, AZ, uh, ALX, what's up, man? <laughs> Back to you. And you are a legend. Thank you for being here. What's up, FGC? How you doing tonight, man? All right. Um, do you, uh, what, what, are you, what level range are you right now for you? Uh, I'm 45. Oh, man, you got me. Uh, you got me by a couple of levels there. <laughs> um, are you interested in playing uh, anything here in Weaver's Fin? Because I'm just questing unless anybody wants to go do anything fun. Have you, where are you on the story? Um, where am I on the story? Let's see here. Main story. Dr. Theo's thesis. Holy smoke. Sir Bob of Duck. Three months. Thank you so much for that continued support. I love that your, uh, your icon is now an evolve. Uh, the dragon has hatched fully from the egg. Thank you so much. Sir Bob of Duck. Um... Dr. Theo's thesis. Actually, I should probably see where this is at. Um, view and map. Okay, so I'm actually here in Weaver's Fin. I was doing this bear thing and I got wrecked. So I was like, oh, I probably need. I, yeah, like with the like the bear repellent or whatever. Okay. So. I will help you with that. All right. Well, I'll send you an invite. They still haven't fixed the uh, the friends list bug. It's like scroll all your friends. Find who's online. And what? Uh, what's your character name in uh, in game? Uh, James Ruger. All right. Invite to message. Find your group. There we go. All right. Excellent. All right, James. I'm gonna start heading that direction. Do you know where it's at on the map? I'll mark it if you don't remember. Uh, Grayville. Yeah, I think so. Where do you see Grayville? Um, it is the northeastern corner. Oh, no. Oh, that's bear cohabitation. That's a different one. Uh, so you, you have to kill like the big bear, right? So Dr. Theo's thesis has me find someone who can make bear repellent as a favor to Dr. Theo then distribute oh, okay. the repellent to the researchers in the field. And so when I go to the journal view and map, it's still taking me right here. Yeah. Okay. I like that. They haven't fixed this bug yet. <laughs> All right, I'm going to I'm going to start heading out to where Dr. Theo lives. Top of the hill by the spooky trees. Uh, FGC says, uh, "Bro, Lost Ark is so amazing. Just hit level fifty, and I'm loving it. Awesome, dude! Congrats on level fifty. Tip of the hat to people who grind out on betas like that. I I admire that. I don't. 
I don't have that as a talent. I'm like, as soon as like, as soon as I'm able to keep my progress, I'm all about the grind. Yeah, test all the features as many as you can. Oh, dude, like Lost Ark is so good. I I think I think uh, I, I think it's gonna give a lot of people, you know, you know, again, like I feel like we're just back into another golden age of MMORPGs. Well, I watched you play it, and it it, 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 to me, it kind of felt like this is something that I would have to play every single day, or I would feel like I'd. Fall it's behind. theme. It's theme park in that regards. Yeah, that's the only yeah. downside. Like I'm, that's where like as a as a gamer, it takes an extra level of like okay, like I just have to set my own goals and and schedule breaks. Otherwise, I get it's like it's not fair for the theme. It's not the theme park's fault that. I'm burned out. I've, I decided to move, move into a theme park. Yeah. Reckless, what's up? Reckless says, same here. I tested out the classes and now I'm waiting for release. The classes are so fun to play. I think one of the things that helps the theme park model though is having friends. And I think the fact that it, you know, Lost Ark is a full MMORPG uh, in that regards, I think that's going to help out a lot. How much? All right, cool. Well, it's like, uh, I think uh, Medina is level 30. So is there a dungeon we can run that's uh, level 30 later? Uh, star is 35. Oh, well, we can try that. Let me invite Medina. I don't think I'm friends with Medina. All right. Invite to group and friend. I don't know if they've cleared uh, the first dungeon yet either. Don't know. We'll find out. Then uh, Windex, what's up, Windex? How you doing tonight? Lost Ark feels good with the controller. There's a few things that I like. I I need to kind of like continue to test out. So I'm gonna play kind of a range class to see if. I can get it to work, but I put up my controller guide today for Lost Ark. Uh, and that's how I, that's how I played Lost Ark in Korea. And it's nice to have the, the, the real true English translation. Um, because I don't think the, even the English translation patch helped with a lot of the mappings for me back in the Korea version, but I got it figured out and here I'm able to, I was able to remap everything and get it to, I think a real comfortable state. Oh yeah. we got a big old bear boy uh there are guilds in lost ark um somebody was asking me about ours and i just haven't progressed far enough i played on uh friday we gave away tons of beta keys that was a lot of fun and then uh and then i had the the friday live letter event and then i spent the rest of the time uh with uh with the family like the rest of the but Saturday was a cool, oh my gosh. Like, the kids were like an open revel rebellion. Oh my gosh, what's attacking me? Oh my gosh. That's oh, a big. Bears. Okay. Are you here with me? Let's get him. I love the design on this. Oh, the bears in this game are hard. Yeah. I can't even skin him. What? I, I have this remining. Oh, wild. Yeah. Yeah, they look pretty cool. It was like they're they're half rock, but also half half wood. They, yeah. And still look like they've got bones. I've got the I've got the logging, so for the uh wooden uh wolves, I've been able to kind of fight fight them off. Alright, so what okay. Doctor okay, now I need to talk oh, to him. Back. I already made it the bear repellent. Sweet. Complete quest. What's your theory? Are you implying that the anger earth is involved? What kind of test? Exactly. All right. Um, travel to Lepidus. Lepidus. Where are we going? Where are we going? However, if you can discover the source of this, this where Lepidus is. All right. Good luck. Let's see here. Dungeon. Catch up on chat here. I apologize, guys. Uh, let's see here. Karamek, hey, welcome. 
Uh, but the Golden Age, uh, but this Golden Age has a variety of styles instead of two hardcore old school sandbox styles and five different flavors of WoW clone. 100%. That's actually why, like, this is more of a Golden Age than the previous anything that would remotely be considered a Golden Age. Um, which IMO makes it better Golden Age? They, you and I, like, piece of a pod right here. Um, do I play all games with the controller? Every game that's humanly possible. Uh, Guild Wars 2, I had to get a Tartarus Pro and an MMO mouse, which actually works out real well. Very comforting. Um, but as I hear it's coming to Steam, and maybe I'll be able to figure out a... How am I yawning? I'm not even tired. <laughs> My controller said I'm, like, in the, in the traditional sense of ready for bed tired. Um... <laughs> yeah my answer is yes but you can speak for me y'all can y'all can guess my answers before i get to them in chat let's see here windex says, of course they are open uh, re and uh, are in open rebellion you bred a small platoon and now the underlings outnumber their their overlords completely missed out on that i think i got disconnected from the context sir baba duck says ginger prime working on trying all of my final fantasy 14 jobs to uh, getting all your jobs to 80 that's awesome get omni 80 going any tips for not getting burnt out on leveling before the expansion? Uh, honestly, the best thing to do is, is plan, a, plan a time away from the game, whether it's just to watch some movies or just relax. Like, it's a lot of, like, it's not actually about being burned out before the expansion. It's about being burned out during the expansion. All right, let's, I'm going to start making my way there. Brian uses a controller for everything. Oven, phone, toilet flush, you name it. Froosh. <laughs> Controller operated microwave. Are you still here in, in close to me? Yeah. Good. There's a. I don't know if I need to kill any more of these bears. I'm just checking. Yeah, I do. They've got a blue thing over their head. Big old bears. Lots of bears. I know that's the thing is like especially with like the the circle of healing is like they're just gonna keep pushing right out of it that's right <laughs> sit down bears here let me see if that, if that sword's better than what I already had nope <laughs> so many distractions from 14 I should get back to it never finished MSQ on free trial well, Reckless, that's fantastic, man. Like that, the free trial is a is a great experience, and hopefully, ooh, a new is this a new better life staff? Nope. <laughs> How far is the free trial going now, Stormblood? No, it. Well, I mean, all the way up to Stormblood. Uh, so all the way through the world winning uh, Heaven's Word, play all the way up to level sixty, and uh, so actually. Uh, saw Bellular kind of talk about how he finally finished the free like the free trial and he's like this is ridiculous like what is this free trial uh like you get so much of it like this incredible like and it's the, how the narrative just continues to build off of itself I think is one of the things that like I really respect not the game let's see here all right we're gonna make our way down this road because there's a couple of quests and things down here that I, I need to hit up and Medea, feel free to join us. Or have you done this uh, the basic uh, quest uh, for the first dungeon? Uh, Amory? Yeah. Yes, I have. Okay, I cool. Have done that one. I think we can do Star. Star's level thirty-five. I haven't done Star yet, so I need to, I need excuses to to get more B-roll footage. <laughs> Somebody's like, I think I've seen this footage before. It's like you have. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I noticed that as well. I'm totally down. Oh man, no, Reckless, you're doing it right. So Reckless bought the game, but he hasn't activated the code yet because he's still on the free trial. That is, that's like, that's getting the most for your, most bang for your buck. Yeah, for sure. There you go, sit down, rabbit. It's, it sounds crazy, but that might be one of the things that might save Warcraft if they decide to give everything up to like, I guess, Legion as a free trial. I don't have a lot of hope for Warcraft, but I've never been like I tried it, just really wasn't for me. So 
I'm like I'm not rooting against them, but I'm definitely not rooting for them. But I, if they went and said, "Hey, we're we're gonna make like WoW two or, or whatever, like whatever it is," like it's like we're going to sit here and look at like another MMO for the next twenty years. I, I'd definitely be interested. I, I would definitely be curious. Yeah, if they made a WoW two and they made the combat similar to this game, I yeah, would be I think I think. Cool. I think you're gonna you're gonna want to have more of an action MMO because. But I mean, obviously there are people who want a slower type of MMO, but I just I just don't see that happening. I just want to be as, as a warrior or a paladin, be able to just, like raise my shield and deflect something. Yeah. Oh, dude, it feels good in this game. Like, oh, shooting an arrow at me. I, I'm supposed to do something here. Let me, um, end this objective. All right, what do they want me to do? Search chest. Okay. We're looking for something in there, Holy crap, Reckless, dude. Thank you so much. Enjoy your emotes. Guys, get some hearts and love in chat for both Sir Baba Duck and Reckless pushing me towards like the like our goal of 200 members here on the channel so i've got some moats some new emotes being developed and uh yeah I'm, I'm excited to see what like what youtube gaming's got planned for 2022 maybe maybe 2023 knowing how like there's still features that i don't have that i see on the other people's channels i'm like okay <laughs> did i get did they forgive about me Oh, hello. Yeah, dude, I, I'm in, I'm, I'm in love with this game, man. I'm just like, and we, and apparently we're getting our first major update in November. I don't like, I don't know what that means. Right. So I'm just like generally curious, like what is the first major update? Mean? I'm hoping for a weapon. What are you hoping for? A weapon. I like a legendary or like a new, oh, a new weapon, a type. Like a like daggers or oh maze. dude so we know we've seen the daggers the blunderbuss and we've also seen the void gauntlet so the question would be is like do we get one do we get more than one and if so like with daggers are what you're wanting i'd like to play around with daggers yeah. daggers would be cool daggers would be really but, uh, cool a one-handed mace with uh, to use with the shield would be freaking awesome too dude i didn't even think about that would the shield act as kind of how the shield does now already with uh yeah i would i would uh like it to play off kind of like 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 a cleric um a magic tank mm -hmm. what do you think would pair with that like from a weapons perspective um geez i don't know ice gauntlet i'm a nine that'd be cool uh we're on noon chaha Oh, we actually gotta go take a right. So Noon Shaha is our server. We're syndicate faction. If you're playing uh, Reckless, come and join us, dude. We've kind of had a, a busy couple of weeks. And I know like uh, our community, like the community manager. So how I've got the, the Discord set up is that for the different games that we play, kind of having you know somebody help like as a community manager for the games. Uh, and so Red... Uh, Redline Gamer, he's been helping uh, as our community manager for New World, but unfortunately his wife's in the hospital, so you know keep him in your thoughts or prayers. Um, as I'm sure that they've been going through a really rough, uh, rough time. I'm, we've been checking in on him and um, you know wishing that he gets, you know, he's been sick and his wife's been you know, obviously sick. So uh, hopefully they have a a you know <laughs> less than awful recovery, like you know a speedy recovery. I like these guys that blow up. You can actually use them to kill other things. Yeah, I know. There's I so love it. Trying to like tag from a distance and then run away. Yeah. Well, because once they start to do their blow up animation, it's just a matter of like get, the, get out of dodge and have fun. Yeah. Well, the dual daggers is what it is. So the the daggers. It looks like they're setting the daggers up as like a what they're calling a single handed weapon, but it looks like it's a part of. You know, like you get two of them, so it's not like it's acting like single-handed, but it's still a duel. 
See, I, I like that. Like, one of the things I like about how we have ammo, like, I would like daggers to be, like, left dagger, right dagger. So if you want to have daggers with different perks, then that would be ultimately pretty cool. But who knows? We'll find out when we find out. That's why I'm, I'm just generally curious. Like, what does major update mean? Because we've seen, obviously, them fixing the issues. And it was really neat to see after 0.05. Like, it's it seems like a lot of the... A lot of the issues, uh, you know, that people were having kind of just, uh, you know, obviously calm down. There he goes. I love it. Knocked him in this room. So that's where, I, like, they like posting about, I think we'll see server mergers coming up as a, a lot of the different populations have transferred and shifted. So that'll be good for the overall health. And I'm just kind of curious as to what that looks like but they said in their forum post today that they're hesitant because obviously all of all the other issues they've currently they had they want to make sure that they take their time and, and that it's all working right there we go that's sweet xp so did you guys see that they're uh it looks like i we do know that they're going to be merging the uh the the market boards well they already did that no i don't think they've linked them yet like um i think that's coming with the major update i was uh, i was curious as to what you guys think about that um i think it's good because it means that you would be able to see something that's sitting in another town and if you don't have the ad off to go there you can just buy it where you are mm -hmm. And it would be whatever trade taxes exist in that town where it was first listed. Hopefully they do it that way. Sounds like that's how they're going to do it. That it's like, uh, so the sell tax is based off of the where it's listed and the buy tax is based off of where it's purchased. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. I think that's going to be like one of the things, like one of the things that will end up helping is that, you know, like while storages aren't going to be linked that's i'm fine with that but at least at a minimum i'm like okay maybe more things that will sell and and thus for somebody who's at a higher level where am i supposed to be going like a second i think they i think they could still link the storage but do it in such a way that there's sort of like a like a mail system like a pony express like oh yeah them, like can you deliver this to this town yeah sure it'll take a day yeah i'll do that's actually i like that idea a lot i'd like yeah. that idea more if you got to like people could sign up to protect the shipment and they would yeah. they would defend it as it goes from town to town like oh hey we're shipping all this stuff yeah faction missions yeah yeah, it's because then, then that way you wouldn't have to load up your inventory and then spend a ton of ads off just to get it to where you want it to be. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have to kill Hazel. I'm yeah. What's up, Hazel? <laughs> I love like the open world bosses and dungeons and, the, and then like, it, the game just feels like incredibly well balanced for my play style more so than even back when I had lots of time because it's like oh yeah if I got a couple hours I'm gonna get online I'll stream and we'll uh we'll go run whatever and you know get people through whatever they need to get through uh and if I'm just kind of like by myself it's like I really have a hard time not fishing <laughs> like well yeah I could do a quest or two or I could sit back and just keep on fishing. Now, if it was a fishing quest, would you would would you just fish, or would you do the fishing quest? Because it would be a quest, you know. Hmm. We haven't run into that yet for me personally, so I'll let you know when I when I cross that that river. <laughs> be an interesting conundrum. It would be. What's zone? Oh, uh, oh, so this is this is the big old lake next to. Uh, oh, I love Re Relentless Shore. It's so beautiful. Oh, 
Oh, uh, server mergers were always going to be an inevitable. Like, they were always just going to be a reality, especially with how the game is so reliant on, you know, like the faction, you know, the faction balance and stuff. So you can already see the, like the, what basically the server groups are already all somewhat connected. But as far as having them kind of blend in, we'll have to see how that, how that goes, how people overall take it. So I personally am really interested to see how they manage all that. But what we'll end up seeing is that with any MMO content is king. So I'm curious to see how November goes over. Um, because I've always kind of said, it's like new world's always going to be in still, no matter what, even with N Walker's two week delay, like new world's always going to be competing against N Walker, even world of Warcraft guild wars two. Like there's a lot of established community, a lot of established games that a lot of players have played. And the hype is real. Like lost, even lost Ark. lost Ark's an established game, even though it's, it's not in, uh, it hasn't been in, the uh in the west you know officially and yeah so like how do, how do you compete as a new mmo against uh like established ones well you just you just get to work you just do you know you bring content to give people something to do and if they can hit that at a at a really a reasonable pace they'll always be in the news they'll always be streamed they'll always be played you know it's oh yeah like oh i'm definitely gonna check out that new weapon that's one of the interesting things about at just adding one weapon like it automatically updates every piece of content due to its sandbox nature because it's like okay do you take that as your main weapon now do you take that as your sub weapon like there's, there's a some oil over here what's up there's some oil over here oh i like oil there's another seeping stone if you want that oh you got it mike what's happening my dude how you been Oh, like, oh, that's right. Cause they're still also not selling server transfers. They just kind of gave out the, the one token. Well, don't worry about it yet. Reckless. We can, we're going to, we'll all get together. Like we're not going, we're not going anywhere. Can we cross this river without drowning? Uh, I'm not sure. Let's find out. I need to go to number one spot. Dude, I get working a ton. October was real. Oh, alligator. Hell yeah. I need to kill these anyway. Uh, October was hard as nails for me because like Julie and I took a little vacation and whenever like that's what I was talking about in my video today. I was like, one of the nice things about what how it was timed was during Thanksgiving. I don't I don't get bothered at all because everybody else is also on vacation. And that's kind of, I was like, yeah, like I, rather than like take that week and come back to an insane amount of work, I was like, I can take that week. And it's, you know, like the work isn't waiting for me. Like as it's, it's not late because everybody was, uh, was also out of, out of the office, but oh, oil, oil. lots of oil, see big stones, baby. You can do oh here yeah stomach. like we're i have a, i have a character on eden as well reckless i just haven't uh, haven't leveled them yet so the uh that's where we originally were set to go but we couldn't get onto the server <laughs> it's like okay well let's let's find a place to play so as far as the company goes you know that might be something we we discuss if we want to try to get back onto eden once everything's settled down but i don't know i don't want to sit here and make anybody like have to feel like they got to jump through hoops and whatnot because there's a lot of people that i know are currently not obviously not actively playing and i don't want to be like oh i'm sorry that you were you know active we all moved servers months ago so i'm gonna i'm gonna kind of wait to see how that how, how they how the next couple weeks kind of all where how the chips fall how's it going guys what's uh, up man how you doing tonight not that too bad you oh, good man i think we're talking about yes. running um what was that uh dungeon star or something star zone so if anybody wants to join in let me know yeah uh pvp if uh flagging is completely optional we do a pvp night though which is like we like to run out in, in big groups one of the changes i would make though is that i feel like if they would let us with the fort 
hold on to it like give it a like if you capture a fort i wish it would give you like a 30 minute cooldown or something before it could be retaken so that way you could try to take advantage of the perks of, of uh you know capturing a fort because what we ended up finding was like we captured the fort and we held it for a long time and then uh and then eventually like and then like hey let's go try to finish these quests and then they just took the fort right back like ah yeah that'd be cool if we could keep it longer so there's still a, cur a queue on eden oh maybe really? yeah yeah well I i've heard there are definitely servers that have queues that's where it's like with all the server transfers and stuff that's why some servers are just like people like there's only 200 300 people on here like and no one's like and like that's not ideal <laughs> no how is that azoth earned they're talking in global chat via questing and have you checked out ginger prime's guides on that <laughs> i see one guy like advertising his stream all the time in general chat who knows? Maybe he's like, maybe he becomes the next biggest streamer and it's people are like, how do you grow? And it's like spam uh, chat in game. <laughs> I was, I had it all wrong the whole time. A queue of four. How, how long does that last now? Cause I was in a queue of about that size and that usually was about 20 or 30 minutes. Hey, what's up Tetra? Uh, holiday season is a busy time for the meat business. I bet, dude. I, I think the meat business has been having a busy 18 months. I remember working it. I don't know if you ever anybody has those like crap jobs that you're like, ah, I'm glad that didn't work out. I worked in a in the uh, Albertsons meat department for a day and uh, and they, like I was also in college and they were trying to put me during shifts during class. And I was like, I'm not going to skip class to come work at Albertsons. <laughs> I'm like, I'm paying for class. Y'all don't pay enough for me to smell like raw meat. So I don't think they, they, I, they, like I work for a day. I don't, I don't even remember I got paid. Gosh, probably too late now. <laughs> I did it for remember that, remember that eight, 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 eight hour shift that I worked from like what? Six bucks an hour. Are you on the boar quest? Uh, yeah. Is there more boar? I got one following me. Oh yeah. They're hard to find. They are in this zone for sure. Kind of nice, just open open questing and killing is so much fun. I love open world content. That's where it's like, I I'm really excited that once Yoshi P finishes Endwalker, that he's gonna come play New World. It's like. The things that you could build, Yoshi P. I know you can do it. <laughs> can you imagine if 12 was like this? 12? Yeah. Oh, dude, I could bet. Well, I uh, think about... They're building a 15 MMO. Like, uh, an MMO based off of 15. Like, imagine really? them. Yeah. The, uh, it's, yeah. it's mobile. So, it's like, I don't have, like, massive hopes for it. But, either way. Down. Well, the um, the the pocket uh, fifteen is decent. I have it on on Switch. Never finished the the pocket, but I thought it was it was definitely well done. Like I just the, the visual, like it just that chi the chibi isn't isn't my it style. It well, it works for that style, top down style. Yeah. <coughs> another boar, another boar. Well, the thing with mobile, and I think the future of mobile really is is cloud. Like my my whole thing is like just don't be mobile only. Mobile only makes me angry. The fact that I think they're still trying to launch Diablo Immortal, and it's still mobile only. It's like, could you be mobile and like? What is Diablo Immortal and then Diablo Four? I know, but still like. Yeah. Like, bring it to, you know, bring it everywhere. 
Eight, yeah, if they focus too much on mobile, then they're gonna have to try and get the the uh, uh, cellular providers to nix the whole data limit. Otherwise, you just can't play yeah. the game. Oh no! A couple of days. I think my game crashed. Oh really? I haven't had a crash in Rip. like a month. Is it? Does it show me disconnected? No. Okay. Protect my body. <laughs> here to let any any action okay no yes it's not responding all right in process yeah uh, now you're laying down would you like to send an error for sure continue yeah after future crashes <laughs> That is, I haven't had a hard crash since uh, September. Like I had one on launch day after like six hours. Like, all right. Ooh. I thought I had my water up here. Thanks guys for the eight likes. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. able to take advantage twice now of the faction quest to go clear the depths you get a lot of experience from that the uh is that the dungeon yeah nice what level is that one 45 okay yeah so every once in a while I... <laughs> uh, a quest will pop up at the faction uh, dealer at the uh at the town in the same city or same zone. Nice. All right, let's give it, yeah. it re picks it up. The game's back up. I've seen it actually pop in. The game screen here. Oh, there it goes. All right, sweet. Now, I recently did, I know I did a, uh, a BIOS update with the computer because it was just like having these just random issues. That was that actually ended up fixing out a ton of problems. I told you, but it was so stressful too. Like I just, I was like, it, it got stuck at fifty percent, and so I look online and they're like, yeah, that's actually a bug. Uh, it's probably done. Just get, like wait thirty minutes just to be sure. I was like, okay, so I waited thirty minutes and I was like, yep, ran great. Yeah. Solved all these rent. Like I would, uh, if I would ever share screen. I couldn't hear you like yeah, like audio would cut out. So there was like all these different random like conflicts But then now it's like yeah, I mean I can I can I can do all that and more A lot of that is hey, uh, just... hardware Great. Uh, Being used in an, an Intel environment basically. Yeah Windows favorite Intel it always has right, what do I need to do here? Travel to Lepidus. I thought I was at Lepidus. Oh, Lepidus is south. Gotcha. How's your workout? Do you have a good workout? Nice. Do you wanna, are you going to jump on some New World too? Yes! Yeah, listen to the grind, babe. You're good. <laughs> I know. You don't owe anybody apology. Yeah. Like you've used all your words yelling at the children for like dumping pins on the ground. Why? I saw Mikey like doing like, yeah, dives and stuff. I'm going to just jump off this and see if it hurts. Did it? <laughs> As you hold a kid and they're like, got the air knocked out of me. <laughs> Just hit the like button three times. I'll let uh, I'll let you or you or you uh, YouTube decide. All right, I think we found the the, the spot. That's all. So Mike get on, and he's actually hearing voice too. Yeah, there's Scott. Scott Gravy, man. Will somebody go and see? It's S C O T T G R A V Y. Like, is he huge on, on, on Twitch? Cause I see his, uh, 
see him at advertise his stuff all the time. I guess he's doing the war. That's actually not a bad idea, right? Like, so you're sitting down and oh man, hey, hey those guys blow up. So like, you could literally be like, yeah, let me show you what we're doing. Mike, if you want to join us, man, let me know. What level are you? Uh, three. Oh, dude, you're perfect level. I just hit 40. Bro, I think we're talking about going to run some dungeons after we kind of, I'm just knocking out quests here in this area. I need to do here. I ran into a huge problem with the build. With your build? Yeah, I don't, want, I don't want to use a sword and shield and have the spirit. Oh. The control is ridiculous with the spear. Yeah. That uh, kick is pretty cool looking, dude. Okay, can y'all come to the wall with me or is it only me? No, it's just you. All right. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I think whenever you like they're pretty easy to pair. Um I think you hold them down, hold them on. What is it? Oh Raycons. Yeah, they have uh <laughs> they have easy Bluetooth pairing. <laughs> they do. All right, level 38. Congrats. Thank you. My, someone's like, well, show me your build. I was like, my build is like this monstrosity. <laughs> I'm just not even, you know, I'm just putting points wherever. You know, I'm going to get some light armor. All right, let's see here. I mean, I'm just, we're just kind of running like a whole giant circle. Uh, you guys got room still? Uh, yeah, let me grab you. Uh, they are actually connected to my phone, I believe. I haven't. What's up? Uh, just pulled my phone. You have my phone. You don't? Oh. It's like. You're good. Yeah, they've, if they've connected. Yeah, they're connected. Let me just delete them off my phone. Um, Disconnect. All right. You should be able to connect them now to your phone or whatever you're using. And uh, Mike, what's your character name? Should be on the name, Mike. I'm not showing you online. There we go. All right, gotcha. Easy Bluetooth pairing. Previously sponsored. Well, previously sponsored. Yeah. Who, uh, what character name? Salty Hooker. Sorry, what? Salty Hooker. H K R R. Yep. Got it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even gonna ask the backstory for that name. Shouty Hooker. It's long. It's a long and diluted story. All right, let's head up to here. So where's the uh, the dungeon? Like, uh, I don't think I have a key. So if we need to figure out, uh, I have one. Cool. All right, and where is the dungeon actually located? Is that the one by Everfall? E correct. Okay, cool. All right, we'll uh, we'll make a couple of loops, finish this loop off, and then I'll uh, and we'll head that way. Did you uh, turn on uh, Spotify, babe? I guess you did. I'll turn back on game music. Uh, one second. I think I missed a message. What's that? I, it's, I, I saw something that said, did you and Chris, and then I lost it. Yeah, Scott Gravy is the one. How many viewers right now? 17? Okay. Oh, we're neck and neck. Just trying to build. Gotta respect that hustle. 
Okay, let's see here. Yep. Yeah, we were, uh, Chris and I, we're, like we're talking today and it's like, you're trying, cause he's going to go apparently talk to some kids about being like a full-time content creator for like career day. And, uh, and I was like, I was like, Chris, you need to make sure those kids know they need a VOD strategy. <laughs> like, don't just tell them hit live and keep hitting live. Like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta utilize YouTube and Twitch. You really have varying content, otherwise it gets it gets old for you and your viewers. Oh yeah, that's the thing. Like, it's always interesting because you know, because I'll see a comment or two, and I'm sure other other people will run into the same thing. But it's like, hey, did, did you quit Final Fantasy 14? No. <laughs> like, oh, like it, like. Do you want me to like? That's where I, I always struggle with it. Like, should I just? a channel for every game that I like and like to cover therefore it's only that game I'm sure that would probably work out well but I'm just I don't have that kind of energy well isn't that what kind of ginger prime is well ginger prime like I cover 14 and new world and etc so I, I cover it like it's just what I like to talk about and uh, I figure I was like yeah, if, you, if you like it you like it if you don't you don't uh, rather than like let's say I called it like ginger 14 and ginger new world and like where there was a channel that was really 100% only this one game and every time I wanted to talk about a new game I then would spin up a new channel like like I just don't want to do that <laughs> <laughs> why would you though that's, well that's a lot of work it is it is a ton of work but essentially from the like the algorithmic side what I end up usually getting is that somebody you know somebody will be like I sub for I sub for new world why are you talking about 14 it's like like I mean I mind just skip the video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you have a channel for each game, it separates the viewership way too much. Oh yeah, and then well, because like when when I started Ginger Prime, people would come over and be like, some because I didn't really like super promote it on Work the Game, and I was like, hey, you know, it's like and somebody was like, oh wow, yeah, like you're you sound like Brian from or you sound like work is Work the Game. It's like I'm Brian from Work the Game. <laughs> Like I'm half of that. It looks like I did get the. I discovered you when I was uh, uh, looking at stuff for uh, Fantasy Star Online too. Oh yeah, dude. They uh, they got a new update coming out in December. Yep. Yeah. And that's when another thing that was like, oh, N Walker got pushed to December. All right. <laughs> like I got. I'll get. I'll get back to you, Fantasy Star. I do love you, but. I beat I beat the story. So the nice thing about I guess the next update is it gets it goes into a new zone. We get more story. Level cap goes up. Yeah, I haven't popped in since they uh, dropped the um, what, what class is that that uses the bow? The ranger. Uh, so that's the the braver. So braver. katana and bow. Yeah, I I kind of put it down uh, before that came out. But I <laughs> and then and then uh, and serve off of the deck, uh, perfectly timing the meme. The no more channels because uh, we always joke that like Chris always says like every time I spin up a new channel that means we're having another baby. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now we're good there. I just, I'm like, yeah, if you don't like it, you don't like it. Like, like there's plenty of 14 stuff to talk about. Plenty of guides and, st and news that I'm excited to share. I got like uh, two big 14 videos that I'm, I'm working on. And, uh, and so one's going to be a, uh, a controller tier list going into Endwalker. So just kind of like talking about the jobs and how they, how they play on controller. And you know, tier listing it because that's always fun. And then, um, and then I'm working. Oh, apparently I passed it. Yeah, yeah, okay. 
Um, I gotta, okay, I get a couple more chests. Apparently, I got two of, two of five. And then uh, I want to. I'm doing the story so far, summarizing uh, Shadowbringers' story. Ooh, upgrade. Let's see here. Is the controller um, in 14 let you also use the chat pad, like a button on the chat pad to control a skill or something? Like that? Uh, I mean, yeah, you can. If but you have to configure it to non-chat, like direct chat. Ah! Part with the shield. Like if I wanted to say push I to open up the bag or something like that. Uh, yeah. I can use the chat pad for that, but you have to turn off direct chat. So it's a setting where like if I type into chat, it will automatically either just start talking or it will use the, the hot the hot keys. Mm. Good night, sir, Bob. Can see you're running into uh, a weird situation where you're 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 in a battle and then you sneeze and your thumb hit tap one of the keys or the space bar and all of a sudden you're chatting and your character can't move. You can still move. Like I can, you can yeah. you can type and move because of the right stick and left stick. You know, at least they they, they they don't they don't lock in. I guess if like you had a a virtual keyboard pop up on screen, maybe that would be a little bit of a challenge, but. All right, where are these chests? That would probably be how the Steam Deck would do it, I think. I'm looking forward to the Steam Deck. I think the Steam Deck is going to be huge for my, like, leveling. Like, oh, how did you, Brian, how did you get all these levels? Well, it's like I kind of just chill and the kids go to bed. Julie and I listen to a podcast and I just grind out a level. Not to change the subject or anything, but did last patch do some improvements on the, um, actual optimization of new world i believe so there we go found another chest because my, my game's running like superbly yeah i've noticed i feel like it's definitely had a lot of performance improvements this guy sucks shield and spear can we get that <laughs> i saw this skeleton do it let's let's go If they did that, I would never lock out. A uh, shield and spear. Yeah, that that would be that would be gorgeous. Leonidas with the Cephalonians. I yawn like man, man yawn. Yeah. <laughs> That's the downside of like like okay, gotta get kids kids to bed. All right, like everybody okay. Still want to play game. Also want to lay down and go to bed. I'm not feeling like I need to go to bed though. I just, I'm, I guess I'm talking and needing oxygen. Oh, got a gator. So what's that, what's that skill that like hits and just kind of circles around for the, is that a skill or is that a, a perk? It circles around? Yeah, like it hits and then I just use like this wind. Oh, the thunderclap? It's from it's a healing spell. Oh, yeah. Beacon? Oh, yeah. Beacon? Okay. Yeah, I like that a lot. Because it seems like it heals like people around around the target as well. Yeah, you can stick it to to targets and walls and yeah. I don't know where the any other chests are out here because I've only found three. Do you have any more you need? Uh, two more. Okay. And the sword's been damaged. Oh. There is one up here. I'm gonna follow. Maybe over 
here at this other little wall thing. Maybe. <laughs> well, thanks for not complaining. <laughs> uh, Kira Mike, you are a legend just for that. Get that one. And where'd you say you where the other one was, Jim? I'm looking around. Like the, the area is actually quite large, which is nice. There go. You get it? No, no, sorry, I was just that bad guy. I'm sure there's a joke about not being able to hit the blood side. Uh, there is one over <laughs> here where I'm at. Okay. So how's the market been on our server? I think the Does market's been performing better? pretty well. I've been making money every every time I log in and and list stuff. Like so, I, I, and I and I buy things. Like I feel like we're. Definitely seen the movement. Yeah, I'm coming to you, James. I'm not, I'm not seeing anything else on here. Oh, downgrades. Somebody lost the invasion. don't find it after this let's uh head to the dungeon that one oh yeah thank you perfect brought a whole train with me i just oh it's just like when i see these trains it really reminds me back of like valcom dunes and just like seeing you know new players run with like a whole train of goblins behind them oh lizards yeah, poor lizards, yeah. They link, guys, they link. So, uh, Brian, have you posted about, uh, us finally getting, uh, open up, open up the inventory while, while running? Oh, did they, uh, did they talk about that? No, I was hoping you would. Oh, okay, yeah, we, we've, I think that feedback's been been received I by know, them. It's, it's, it's a joke, but okay. it's like everything, everything, everything else, everything right else I can do except for opening up my inventory. Okay. I got to turn around. All right, guys, let's, uh, I'm going to head to the head to Everfall, and then let's head out and grab the, um, let's go head out, do that dungeon. See how we, how we fare. Where's the shore is green now. Who had it before? Yellow? Yeah. They took Everfall. So let's just take everything from them. Yeah, they only have one. <laughs> we'll get every fall next, and then it's like, yeah, get out of here, Syndicate. Or no, we're Syndicate. Get out of here, Covenant. <laughs> get out of here, we, Yellow. We star song? Yeah. I need to break down a bunch of gear, though. Is there a quest we got to pick up for this? Uh, there is a bone quest from Barkamedes. For... The star stone? For star, there is, yeah. This, is it the same quest? Um, you have to collect meat for him, from him, yeah, or for him, but it's in star stone. So you okay. get to go to um, uh, the first one and then get the quest. I already have a quest for Embarkamedia, so, and I'm guessing it's the same. It, it's the same type of quest, but it's one that's labeled for a star stone. Okay, I'll have to check my journal. Yeah, you have to kill three named elites and you get one bone from each one and you're done. And for the depths, it is a baby alligator that's sitting right outside of it. Same type of quest. 
wait, what? see so what role who who's doing what role i can i can heal but i don't have the strongest of heals i can i mean i i, I could tank i mean we probably won't need much heals that's what you we will we'll die more from the the dang orange or purple beams than will the actual damage <laughs> Can't wait oh, to see yeah. these beams. That's right. Well, I will bring my... Um, I have a, I have a, a necklace that's got taunts active on it. That's the only thing I've got currently. Besides my spec. Well, I can actually sell it more to my house. Save on the Azoth. I'm glad that they're going to make the housing tax uh, payable every seven days rather than every five. Five just felt like a weird number. Biz are we t business days? <laughs> right. I lost one experience. Business days excluding banking holidays. Yeah, I know, right? So I think now let me check journal, see if I need to go talk to Bark Needies. That side stories? Um yes. Bones so for Bark Medes? Uh, more bones for Bark Medes. Is travel to the shattered obelisk. So if you don't have that one, um, I'm gonna head down to. I'm gonna go grab that and then I'm head up. I'll meet you yeah. guys there. Because for me at least, it, it's a level 35 quest, but for me it's it, it still gives me like 6,000 experience. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. Easy. And uh, chat says seven makes sense because I only log, you know, for the only people who log in during their days off. Like yeah. <laughs> don't double tax me. Mark where the dungeon is on the map. Absolutely. Yellow marker. Yeah. Purple marker. Done and done. I'd suggest building a camp outside. Not a bad plan. For the lasers. Character reward. Yeah. It wins word. Um, and Weaver. Storage. My priority is always like storage first and then standing gain. I want to just like grind out like insane map levels. But what do you get when you max that out though? I don't think there's a max. Oh really? Yeah. Not like 30 or something. 30 gets you the ability to buy a big house. But I don't think there's a max. There'll be, you know, I hope there's not. If there's a max and be like, oh. <laughs> but if it's this like endless, like, you know, I'm level 700 in, in, you know, this zone. Like, wow. Them some bragging rights. How long did that take? 10 years. 10 years. 
Back in my day, people would just clone the gold. <laughs> yeah. You help? It should already be set up, but here, let me hit come out. Sometimes it resets, like, even for me, and I'm like, I don't know why it does that. What? Okay, here's the bar barns from. Uh, I, sometimes, like, it will say, like, hey, your controller is using some random default, not mine. I'll be right one second. No, you're good. Yeah, it switched to some, yeah, random thing, and it was like, nope, wrong config file. All right, cool. I got the bark meaties. All right, then now I'm gonna head and I think it's faster just for me to run from Amrine to the star. Yeah, I'm on the way to get the quest now. Yeah, good call. I was like, oh yeah, extra quest. Quest, perfect. That ability is so loud. Yeah, I, I so I, I use a uh, a 5.1 soundbar for my computer, and I had to turn down the sound effects for the game because it shook the table. <laughs> no, the sound effects on this game is are, are just unbelievable. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure my neighbor would appreciate if I turned that down. All right, is anybody going to hear do the ear thing for Final Fantasy? The, oh, I, I, I have to up on that. So you're going to take a picture of your ear and then they're going to make an ear profile for you. And then the game's going to deliver like this spatial audio. So and then I, I somebody commented like I apparently like one of the guys who worked for the company commented on Chris and I summary of it. Cause it's like, like, and he's like, you know, I was like, Hey, it's, it's like a re it, like really cool. I was like, I get it. Like I am totally going to check it out, but it weirds me out. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send off a picture of my ear. See, when I saw that slide before you started talking about it, I was thinking that, well, they're just, they're just adding spatialized audio ability to the game. Cause it doesn't have that currently. Right like that'd be cool because then you'd be able to take advantage of like windows sonic or headphones and a bunch of other things uh with that in mind so that'd be, that'd be cool oh yeah i agree and I mean, then windows surround sound very poorly anyway so there's that so at the end of the day like it's a company and they're like you can there's a 14 free d uh trial but then they use like artificial intelligence to map your ear so it's supposed to give you like a real true audio sound and i'm like all right i'll check it out i'll let you guys know if it's worth it that's weird it, it was it, it was like oh cool like and i'm and the whole time i'm like oh yeah headphones and they're like all right, so you take a picture of your ear and you send it to yes, and then I'm like, come again? <laughs> okay. I was like, well, how 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 good does that picture have to be, really? Because if he says if it's a bad picture, then you get a bad scan, and then you just the sound is horrible. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. And then it's like, you're gonna sell little hearing aids or something like that. I wonder. You know, another another marketing strategy. All right. I'm as far as the uh, the companies that make Bluetooth headphones haven't gotten into the hearing aid gig yet. Uh, shift and tab.
Okay, I'm gonna go make my camp. happening with it it's pretty cool can't move oh press start and then press start again sometimes if you get into a map and it's like i don't know what to do with you this uh deku brandon guy he's got some pretty cool looking armor or at least the die on it. it's cool anyway Where's a piece of flint? It's on the road again. <laughs> What's up, Veered Beard? Message held for review. I'll allow it. And now I just need a piece of flint. Do you help? Let me come help you. Go right there. I wish that late night. I think they do it like you'd be. Oh, good. Thank you very much. I'll be right back, guys. One second. markers and I can't even see where my camp is on the compass I'm back. Okay. Welcome back. So for uh, so what do we do to kick off the dungeon? Because I know I'm. I just gotta walk in. You just go walk in. Is it who? Does it ask the person for the key or? Yeah, as soon as I I get touch the door with the orb in my my inventory, it'll okay. put it. Okay. Oh, cool. group Starstone Barrows baby a lot of books in here as well or pages at least love it just saw the bug of like hey fishing and mining and everything is going up
Oh wow, that was fun. Use this opportunity to level up life staff. So many errors in you, <laughs> salty. Yeah. <laughs> so I look at your guy say, I'm healing you. I'm like, I just, I see nothing but errors in, in you. Music's really good. We need to do something with this thing. No, I was just picking up a bag that had a green aura. Okay, I got you. That was a cool little effect. I am level 38. an end game <laughs> like why Marty. hey what's up snow how are you doing how are you doing I'm gonna guess uh, oh, 70. Let me know if I'm anywhere in the ballpark. Knowing how you've been enjoying Paladin. Oh yeah, Angel is out. Somebody need to interact with it? Or Like, is it gonna blast us? You're just side questing it up. Are you using any of your dailies or weeklies? Your paladin is level seven? If so, then I was way off by a factor of 10. Yeah. Still Calthrop. So the lasers we got to avoid. Love me some mining and, and dungeons. Oh, I love it. Oh, 67. Dude, congrats, man. I was close. Oh! 
Uh, yeah, I would say this is a really good game to check out, especially if you're kind of really just more into that lone wolf style. Uh, you can solo stuff, but it's just going to mean you're going to end up grinding on it. The thing with this, just like with Guild Wars 2, there's no subscription. So at the end of the day, like whether if you're looking for something to play until Endwalker, I think this is a really great game. And at the end of the day, also, I would say that the uh, end game starts at level one. So like I wouldn't sit here and try to play it as a way of like trying to get to level 60 before any period of time. Uh, uh oh, we got a res. I like the clocks here. here. How are you still showing up dead? Okay, cool. We're back. Wait. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. All right. Um, I guess not that way. Which way do I go? Hey, look, look towards me, Brian. Drop down. Drop. Right in front of you. Dro drop no, down. No, no. Look to your, look to your, left, behind you now. Look okay. for Metasis. I'm looking. I climbed up that Damn. wall. I mean, okay, there's Medina. See James. Drop down where he is. Drop down where he's at. Okay. Yep. Okay. Follow that path. Ah, I see what you're talking about. Ah, huzzah. That was a fast laser. That was awesome. <laughs> Thanks for coming to save me. Oh, it makes it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> that was so good. Oh, let me actually switch the sword and I'm not whiffing. I do feel like there is a little bit of magnetism when I'm playing with a controller still. Especially with like musket. So I really hope they do natively bring controller support. You crazy people. Oh, he makes it. Huh? Oh, Mario jumps. Hold on, but we'll we'll get that respawn right now. You let me in. Is there is there a switch I need to hit? No, he's got the staff. It's got an aura that breaks the beam. Okay. So the other thing, if you've got good internet and you're and you're like, don't have necessarily like a, a card or a system that wants to run it, uh, you can use also uh, GeForce Now. So the game is supported on that platform. I might have to go get him. Oh, you got the beam gun. Uh, you can just break it for him. You can walk in. What are your weeklies and dailies in Final Fantasy 14? Like you have beast job quests and you have your, you know, your various bonuses for letting. Here you get like three bonuses for your first faction stuff, but there isn't a weekly and daily type system, which I personally find very relaxing. Do you think you're on the, what's it called? Your clan, whatever, like syndicate, is that a weekly thing? Or that is just your, whenever you want to? Every, every day, the first three that you do grant a bonus and like experience and gold, but there isn't like a, I got to log in and do chores just to, go and do these other things which i hope they don't introduce but 
you know, people have those kind of things because they obviously work. You know, but I think they only work up to a certain amount of time. I think that's why I like, I really like 14's approach to it is that you can do the dailies, but they are telling a story and that story has a conclusion. So there's a satisfaction there. I like New World for the crafting. So it feels more engaging. Oh yeah. The final. Final just feels like it's just like insert item A, craft item B, turn it in. Mm -hmm. Well, and then it's usually turned it into an NPC. It's like there's not a. Ooh. Oh no! <laughs> I should have. I should have ducked. <laughs> Thought I ate it. <laughs> I, I ate that thing hard, like right in the face. Yep. What? <laughs> I stood up into the laser. Yeah. Me All right. Too. Cool. All right. Let's do that. I mean, at least you don't have to jump. <laughs> yeah. The jump part was fun, though. Shoot! <laughs> I panicked. I was trying to. I was saying, let's try to crouch or shut. Oh, just go for it. Just wait till it moves slow. Cool. All right. Yeah, some of the dungeons in Guild Wars 2 is also really nice and enjoyable. I like Guild Wars 2 a lot. Okay, thank you. I, I missed a bone from the first dungeon because it was like, oh, didn't see it. Enchanted bone, perfect. Is that the spear throw? Yeah. Nice. Man. It's really nice against animals, man. Yeah. Hey, hey, what's up? It's it's Ernie. Awesome. 
dexterity and strength skin to the point where I one shot uh, some wolves with the javelin bro. Oh yeah? Dude, that sounds awesome. Yeah, you get a huge damage bonus based on um, range, so if you get good with it, it's pretty it's pretty fun to mess with. Spawn point created. Gorgeous dungeon, dude. They did a good job on these. Yeah. Was there a bone behind us at all? Like, did I miss one? No. Okay, cool. I was just making sure we haven't fought Limbos or Ebrus. I'm loving this dungeon, dude. Yeah, it's pretty good. One. It is gorgeous. I mean, this alone, I'm like, I, I'm really excited to see the other dungeons too. So far, what's y'all's favorite dungeon that you've seen? Okay. So, I guess the 50 50 shot for you, but. Yeah. <laughs> this one's so this one's pretty. I like the devs, because you got corruption in that one. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's what chat's saying. Wait till you try the depths. Yeah, it's pretty creepy so that. Music's good too. Music in this one's great. Can I open this door? Yep.
The guy is yelling Moadib. Moadib? What does that mean? Dune. From Dune. Oh, I haven't seen Dune yet. Is it good? Oh, that's great. <laughs> Insert Blessed Obelisk B. Yeah, you're looking for the story. There's dungeons within dungeons? It's like a... It's like a purple Dune door. Right, but like, there's dungeons within dungeons? Like... We get a special item. We go into the dungeon. Go in this in this room, especially. Uh, no, it's just a different section. Oh, so we all will go there eventually. Yeah. Okay. As I say, like, holy crap! Are you thinking like the hidden rooms in 14? Yeah. Oh, you making an exception for it's like get a dungeon inside of a dungeon. Yeah. To get out, you must go deeper. Then you never know if you're what dungeon you're truly in. What spec you rocking? You uh, get 30% of the damage that you do with the skills for health. Nice. And your skills recharge fast, even with light attacks. for them to stack them together. Oh god! <laughs> the made up language. I enjoy it very much.
Ooh, wow, that hit hard. Oh man, get off me. Oh no, I'm down. Oh, James. Like a boss. Taking him out. Looks like Mike's back up. Yeah, that ha that hammer skill line is freaking ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And I think it's about like 30% of your health. So if you have like a, like, yeah. you know, AK health bar, that's quite a bit of healing per skill. And, then, and that's why as soon as he was the last one standing, it started taking me down. Could we return? Yep. I almost got them all. You did. I'll do better this time. I got cocky. I want my sprint button. That's the weird thing, though. And there's a, there's one of the passives for the hammer tree that says 10% damage reduction while sprinting. And I'm like, but there's no sprinting in this game. <laughs> where, yes. where, where am I sprinting? Some of the uh, cooldown, I guess. I think you're all, always sprinting. But... Maybe. Because I know you can you, you can turn on walking, so maybe yeah. you are always sprinting. All right. Oh, he's almost dead, so. Oh, nice. Right. Yeah, they all respawn right behind me. They the trash. That was enough. And a bone. And a bone. All right. Hold on for this guy. Walk through. All right. turn my camera sideways and wait for it to line up <laughs> and then I just kind of straight through it Come on. Oh. No. Thank you. down.
Whoa, yeah, Whoa, don't get too geez. close. Okay. Prezzing. Back. Bullcat! Got his ads out. Oh, God. I want to let him target Mike. I'm stuck. Come on, get off me. That mobility, man, when they get me locked in place, I, I get scared. That's what got me. Keep trying to target. There we go. Now I can target Mike. I was like, I keep trying to target Mike. He won't let me. Nice. Oh, yeah. like, like they were nothing. Ooh. Insert ancient shrine. Insert ancient shrine. Hmm. Don't seem to have that ability. Is it a dungeon within a dungeon? <laughs> dungeon? Dungeon Inception. I love that. Dungeon Inception. That'd be nice. I wonder if that'd be broken though. You never know. Some kind of perk on gear, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, give me that as off. Or am I yet? I'm good. Been refilling. Been did, did a lot of gathering because I kind of ended up burning through a lot of his off. I was like, oh man. When the when the the game isn't just handing it to you, it's like, yep, this is definitely a rare resource I have been capped all of today <laughs> I wish they'd let you bottle it up and sell it Connect power lock. Okay. You doing that reminds me of some of the like of the Destiny raids. Thank you. 
he got, got he got pissed and ran somewhere else. He's jumping around. Looks like he's rocking double sabers. That'd be fun if they let you like drop your shield and just like rock double sword for a different tree. Corsairs. Oh, that'd be neat. Pablo is key. Oh wait, there it goes. What are we doing? Protection. I guess we didn't need it anymore. been here once man no worries at all man good sign is when there's enemies in your way he's going the right direction yeah I've already gotten so much loot in this dungeon. It's like pro tip on dungeons. Go in with a bag ready to absorb loot.
Boss, boss. Yeah, I believe so. I don't remember what he does though. Slowly animates himself to life. I think so. Maybe. Wait. Thieves. Watch out for the lasers. Oh yeah, thank you. We take those out. Oh, uh, one thing that he does is he jumps around and has lots of big AOE. Okay. It's a whole phase bit. We gotta add. Every time I kill one, it's like, oh, wait, that's not good. Thank you very much. Yeah, chat saying kill bones. They spawn the ads. Yeah, it looks like that bone is done. Yeah, you don't want to have too many of them out. That's like we get easily overwhelmed. Thanks, chat. Taking damage, but it looks like it's got a life. Maybe this game is known to have a handful of bugs.
How do you block from that? Bodies! Boga! Oh, okay, I guess block, block. You can dodge. Can't Get better at figuring out how to block that. Oh, I'm dead. I rock. Oh, no. I walked into the, into the thing. Can I respawn and get back in the fight? Uh, no, I don't think so. Bummer. I got knocked into the, uh, the lasers. Can I summon the ads to me? Ooh. Okay, I can't hit them and they can't hit me. There's definitely a bug there. So far, one, one bone that's outside of the laser and he can't touch it. I'm just pulling all the ads to me. <laughs> Don't push me into the, into the lasers, boys. So does he respawn again after this one? Uh, no. Okay. He gets two. Okay. Chat's saying group up and stay in one place together. Let him jump to you and heal through it and damage him in place. Don't chase. Oh, I think that's my mistake was. Well, you got pushed into the laser. I did get pushed into the laser, but I was like kind of struggling because I was like, all right, constantly getting overwhelmed and getting hit by every one of his jumps. It's like the aftershocks. I 
still kind of jumps everywhere. You know, when I was doing oh. it the first time, everybody... Did they die? Or can I hear them now? Victory! Can y'all hit these ads? Or can they only be hit in this thing? I can't hit them. <laughs> Bug dads. Yep. They're staying there too. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, That's cool. Nice fight. Dude, that was amazing. Thank you for saving me in there, James. <laughs> <laughs> There's not like a revive spell, is there? It's... No, at least not yet. That place was gorgeous. All right, let's see here. Now I need to go turn this into bark meaties. Yep. That. It is. Man, it is 1030. How long did that dungeon take us? Oh, probably longer than it should have. Well, I mean, like in general, what would you on average rate that? In terms of time. Well, I'm leaning towards about 45 minutes. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see as... Like, the mechanics and things become more familiar. Like, what ultimately it's like... This is the amount of time you spend in a dungeon. This is the amount of time, you know, like... Because in 14, I feel like a dungeon can be anywhere from... 10 to 15 minutes once you know what's happening yeah and then like especially if you're geared more than anything if you're geared yeah i think if anything the the enemies in the dungeons they they're a lot of them are silver so they're more of a damaged sponge mm -hmm. so you'd have to be at least little over leveled or over geared for it for it to be fast just because how it's built right really not a huge xp source of leveling no it's not that's probably why they had the bark Minis quest being repeatable mm-hmm um, we were in there for like 46 minutes. Thank you. Oh, I was very close. Yeah. I was like, it didn't feel like an hour, but it didn't feel like, you know, not an hour. <laughs> the reason why I know that is because I recall to, uh, Reaver's End. Oh, okay. And I had like 40, for like 45 minutes before reset. And we jumped, we went into the dungeon and it's open now, so. <laughs> hey, Randy, how are you doing tonight? We're doing great. We just finished, uh... The Star Barrows, is that what it was called? Uh, Stars, yeah. Star Stone Barrow. Whee! Shattered Obelisk, Obelisk, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, that's great, man. Did you have a good weekend, Randy? Are they saying they want to sell 400 gold? Oh, Asmodium. I gotcha. I was like... <laughs> Except you're it's 
So I wasn't able to grab that quest before, but I can now. <laughs> I wonder if it's level, there's a level thing to it or something. 35. Can't recall to end, but I'm going to go ahead and run up to Everfall, and then I probably will call it a night. Yeah, I am as well. Dudes, thank you guys so much. That was, that was wonderful. <laughs> it's like, yeah, wow, that was so Good beautiful, times. so freaking beautiful. And if chat, like chat, was already like, oh, just wait till you get to this, and just you know, it's like, game is, game is good. Hey, what's up, salty ochre? Hey, man. <laughs> You all have a good one. I'm getting out of here. All right, man. You have a good night. Yeah. I made the mistake hitting inventory while I was running. All right. Good night, gentlemen. Good night. Good, good night. night. Thanks, Ron. Uh, Randy, the weekend was really good. I uh, got a lot of, like, I tried to rest up as much as I could. Um, obviously, with the live letter Friday night was uh, was long. <laughs> really long. And um, now we just, we, you know, oh gosh, like, we had a. A lot of stuff happening over the house on Sunday, but after we finished all of our Sunday, uh, all of our Sunday activities, I ended up taking a really good nap. Felt great. Got to go see my parents. So, yeah, I think I had a really good weekend. Oh, here we go. It's about time to hit the dusty trail. When I see green turn ins. Oh man, I got one up all the way up here too. Two quests ready to turn in? Okay. That bugged out. Yes, so. <laughs> and where am I turning? I'll tell Magistrate Clark. He doesn't have to bear all the burden anymore. I'm ready and willing to do my part. Weird. 
are you facing the render bug too? <laughs> it's like showing me the the board and everything, and I'm trying to like turn in quest and and it's like nope, not gonna let you. I greet you in reverence, fellow pursuer of knowledge. Huh. Oh, since it won't let me do that there, let me see if it will let me turn them in up here. Hey, Colson. Hello. Hello, hello. Oh, hey, I've actually been lurking for a while. That was a night soul that just joined. Oh, no, but I was saying, like, hey to you. Because it's oh, yeah. you, I just found uh, you in Brightwood. <laughs> gotcha. All right, sweet. Good prog for today. I think on that note, though, I'm going to wrap up. Thanks, guys, for hanging out on stream. Thanks for everybody here in voice. And uh, that dungeon was great. I'm I'm on cloud nine. I cannot wait. Now, honestly, that motivates me more about leveling because so far I've just been like, yeah, I'm having a good time. Just fishing and just questing and just not in a rush. And I was like, that dungeon was like, I can't wait to see these other dungeons. So, all right. Anyway, I'm going to wrap that up. <laughs> Y'all have a good night, everybody. I'll talk to you later.